Check out Alex Oriaki will check on. Oriaki will let Melvin Eli drive to the hole and jam it through. And so the score is tied 21 21. Connell with eight to shoot. McConnell will take it towards the right corner, crosses over, gets in the lane, nice screen, and puts it up and in. Melvin Eli created the space for McConnell to get close enough to the basket to just basically float it up and in. Line and Legends get the rebound. Really no separation, and now separation comes in the form of a lob pass and slam dunk for Marcus Hubbard. Lays it up and in, and it's 28-27. And here's McConnell the other way. He gets tough work in the lane. Got in close and got the score. Now we'll take it right side. And a pass down low. Hubbard up and in. Got it over Mason down low. Hubbard had good position. And it's 32 to 30. Both teams really, but neither team really has honed in on the either side of the floor. And as McConnell is able to make it all the way to the rack and scores. And again, Texas spread the floor. And Oriaki out of Missouri also spent time with Connecticut too. Well, here comes a... McConnell on the run, he'll lay it up and in. And makes it a nine point game, 50. If he's got four fouls, maybe playing tentatively because of it. We'll see what that does for uh, the, the overall defensive effort, two falls. Well, there's Atkinson driving to the hole and scoring, and immediately, by winning their last two games, they've got a 21 point hill to climb. McConnell pulls up for a 20 footer, swishes. And McConnell with 13. And with 1.4 left, spins, gives it up. And McConnell gives it back to Eli, who will lay it up and in, and DeAndre Liggins was there defending and could not foul. 